Good day, Tamers. Welcome back to another episode with me, Agito Swiftly. Now, the video may have gone a little bit prematurely because the following morning we had the wonderful news of the new Daltramon, which did have the weird effect that we kind of summarized. So, thank you for the people in the community that was like, I think this card's going to have to do this to do be, be a good card. And it's, it's done that. It's slapped things around with its tail and shot people in the face with its stabby gun arm and. Dodgermon's fantastic. Yeah, don't. Mwah, chef's kiss. Beautiful card. Um, it makes the deck really cool and very uh, playable in different ways that it probably wouldn't have been thought of otherwise. But I think we should jump right into this one. We do also get the Baby Dramon and the actual uh, full synopsis of the Dracomon that we could see in the preview but we couldn't read. That's really good. Hopefully, tomorrow or maybe sometime soon we'll see the Red Vmon because I really want to see. Peldramon, that's red and purple, and is either going to be super duper crazy broken, or is going to be absolutely terrible, and then I'll just go back to playing Deep Brigade, or the Mill deck, because the Mill deck looks like it's going to be fun until I mill myself out. But we'll uh, we'll go from there. So should we jump in then and have a Commandramon? Commandramon, decoy, passive trait, Deep Brigade. Um, so this is what it says, and I don't really understand the translation. This, I'm, I'm not sure if it just says like. Uh, it has decoy, but only if something in its traits has D brigade, so you can only like decoy for other D brigade things. It could do that. That's very specific because there's lots of additional orange text that I can't read because I don't speak Japanese, and I probably should learn to at least read some Japanese. But I'm not good at English, let alone an another language that I don't have time to learn or recommend to myself. But yeah, the idea of what this deck wants to do is essentially I'm going to rush in, I'm going to swing into security if I die. Fantastic, if I don't die, well, next turn I'll decoy. So, win-win for D-Brigade, the only deck that likes to fall over. But no, I, I think it's great, I think it's a really good card. You can now run 20 rookies in this deck. I'm not saying you should, but you definitely can. And with the amount of options you have for champions, ultimates, omegas, it's something you could really look at doing, and it being relatively effective. Then we have Dark Draman. When evolving into this card, by returning up to 5 D Brigade cards from your trash to the top of your deck, reduce the evolution cost by 1 for each card. Your turn, once per turn, when your other D Brigade Digimon is played, delete one opposing Digimon with equal or lower play cost, then the Digimon, and suspend this Digimon. The most amazing part about this is there's a lot of D Brigades that you play in this deck that you can just throw on the table as you want. From the original Tank Digimon, which is your player Command Digimon, they are currently. 4 cost, 2 cost, or 3 cost, which means you can be getting rid of quite a, a high amount of um, play cost there. Some champions are most uh, rookies. You also have the new tank to that lets you play a level 5 or lower. So that's essentially both of your seals to So that's most champions getting taken out there. Then you can also just hard cast anything. So if you want to hard cast a tank to well, there's 7 normally. So that's 7 cost getting deleted. That's pretty much all champions and half the amount of ultimate you're probably going to see currently played in the meta. And then if you really want to, you can play the other Dark Dramon, because you've got all those Command Dramons currently floating around in your trash, that you just go, okay, I'm going to hard play the other one, it's going to cost me three, but its original cost is 13 still, which means pretty much most Megas get deleted at this point. Oh, and also, I get to suspend this thing. Way, win-win. Oh, and Rush, but obviously in the situation, that's the perfect stack. Um, I also have Rush in the old version of the old Dark Dramon, so I don't necessarily need Rush in this one, because Double Rush doesn't like double rush people, you know, it's not like double strike. But no, this is this is really good, I really like it. It's got removal built in, and if you remove something, you get to unsuspend the swing again, so you remove security instead. So I think that this Dark Dramon is really good. Um, the only thing I'm saying about this deck is I really hope that Dark Dramon gets a alt art, because the other one doesn't. It does have a Fest card, so it does have a hollow printing. But I really want this one to have a alternate art because I'm not a massive fan of it. Let's swing over to Baby Dramon or Baby Dramon. Inheritance effect. All turns, once per turn, when this Digimon has a Dramon or Examon in its name and becomes unsuspended, it gains 1000 DP for the turn. Um, this is a very good Digimon, obviously, for any Dramon. So, people who want to play the All Force line, it's really good for because obviously you do the suspending, you suspend the tamer, and suspend, swing, and just, you, you, you know the drill, guys, you know how it works. Um, and then, obviously, there's a lot of Dramon in this set anyway. If you are a 
blue source that is a dry in its name obviously works well for you and then possibly anything else that has the ability to digivolve off of it a lot of people are hoping that Examon was going to be like a DNA fusion I've got a funny feeling it's not going to be it's going to be like a, a split color card possibly something similar to like um, Omnimon but in blue and green possibly I could be very wrong it just seems very strange although if that's the case you can run Wormmon in this deck and have it have the um, at the end of turn effect DNA digivolve which may or may not help out in some situations. And then Dracomon. Digivolve from Baby Demon. Or zero. On play, reveal the top four cards of your deck. Add one blue or green card with Dramon in its name. And one card with Examon in its name amongst them to your hand. Returning the remaining cards to the bottom of the deck in any order. Inherited effect once per turn. All turns. When one of your Digimon with Dramon or Examon in its name becomes suspended, this Digimon gains 1000 DP. Of the turn that's pretty good obviously in situations where you want you are going to go into like green decks that want to suspend you or you block so you're going to suspend i don't know if you have blockers in this deck i'm just saying hopefully not because i know the old winged Ramon is a, a blocker so i'm hoping that the new winged Ramon also isn't a blocker but things change and i hope that doesn't happen um but you know things that make you suspend essentially blocking or attacking or anything it doesn't say effect it just says when you suspend so blocking clans are suspending, attacking clans are suspending. Um, it's not having to unsuspend, so obviously it's on the swing as opposed to coming out of it into a new one. Although, all four speed you want to correctly, it's unsuspending effects from a tamer. It makes it stand back up and gains the DP. So you're already unsuspending to suspend to get the DP. It's very weird. Don't, don't ask questions. Um, but no, that, that's that's it. It's really a cool card. I think it's going to be really good. Uh, Blue-green does give it a lot of sources to pick from. Uh, also going from any... Baby Demon is really good. So if you do see X1 have piercing, then you could also have you could also run the red base of this. So then you could have a red, green, blue deck, which could be very menacing, depending on how they want to do the rest of the tier. But no, I, I think it's gonna be very interesting. I think it could be very cool. Um, I'm happy that they've chosen to go along with this as they have. And in all fairness, it's nice to see like some diversity in color design, especially in a set like this. Where you, they're all dragons anyway, and you just have to try and figure out what makes these dragons different from other dragons, as I've already seen. Uh, the black line currently is all about essentially swarming and trash recursion. The purple stuff has essentially been trash um, dump. So we've got mill and we've got uh, recycling from the trash, which again is kind of what black's doing. Obviously, that's more specifically to do with D Brigade. Um, we haven't seen the other red deck yet, which is Vmon into hopefully or presumably Pildramon uh, into Imperial. And then the blue green stuff, which a lot of people are presuming right now, not only is it Azulong. It's going to be um, Examon, it says it in his name. At the, at the end of the day, though, as much as it sounds terrible, we should get Examon in this set. But if we don't, this is one of those weird things where it's more like precursor into the future. So if they do bring out Examon, you've already got a card that just goes, hey, I already do stuff with Examon. I am its searcher. I also have an old blue version from the all four structure deck that also just searches Dramon anyway. So there's already two Dracomons that have search for Dramon abilities, which is good in my opinion. Also, this one is a bit more specific to colour, where it has to be a blue or a green. Whereas the old one was just like, yeah, if it's got Dranit's name, I'll find it for you. Don't you worry. Which is why people originally did the blue version of Machine Drummond. That's like the base form. It's like, oh yeah, I'll throw the Drummond Monster. Hopefully search for my Machine Drummonds. Which, I'm not sure if actually really worked that well, but that was the plan. But, after all this rambling, hopefully you guys have had a fantastic time with me today. Hope you've found this interesting that you go through these cards and that like, there are little, like, niggly bits that we can look at and go hey this card could work here or doesn't work there or this plan doesn't really work very well again over the next few days we'll probably see a few more cards going through what's going on with their their situation and what they want to do with it but until then guys peace out goodbye and you'll see us whenever we get more cards possibly tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon or in the afternoon or whenever we get more cards but peace out goodbye we love you thanks for being here if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It does help us out greatly. We are trying to grow, as you can see, by the uh, the little 285 down there. Doing our best. Uh, and if you enjoy the content, please leave a like. I know I like rambling for hours and hours and hours, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you like me rambling for hours and hours and hours. And uh, tell us if you leave a comment if you think we're doing something terrible. We're happy to uh, happy to talk to you guys and uh, get back to you. Have a good day. Bye.